The five pillars of, of One End's theory of change is health, employment, housing, education and leadership. So One End sort of involved uh, you know, with, through our various programs in uh, trying to help our people and the wider community as well in all those key areas. So the health is very much part of it. Getting people to take responsibility for their life and for their children. Because if you can sort of do that, and um, you know, that, that's what creates good communities. It's basically sort of family units that uh, are functional, that caring for their children, and um, you know, eventually the whole, the whole community sort of benefits from it. I'm just going to get her weight first. Wunan bought into the private medical centre, Kununara Medical, about seven years ago. They, a part of their social enterprise program was to buy the private practice and they wanted to be able to invest in the local community, especially in primary health care. And what we had to do was really um, gain the trust of the community because we needed the community to um, understand why we were doing this but also um, have faith and have in, in the fact that we could provide a good service and we had to show and demonstrate that to the to the community which I think I believe we've done. Good boy, what a big boy you are! In fact as the demand was growing, Wunan wanted to invest in actually developing and growing the service and so that's when we started you know having conversations about um, a new medical centre which would be purpose-built and our staff within Kanara Medical, senior staff at Wunan had this vision and so we worked really, really hard to make that come to fruition. But we wouldn't have did it without the help of Lottery West. They were really, really important in terms of supporting this and then funding this going forward. It's going to make a good building here for us. Lottery West saw that the need for this building, especially the need to then grow primary health care services in rural remote areas, they have a commitment to that. So we're the only private practice between Catherine in the Northern Territory, which is about 500 kilometres away, and Broome in the West Kimberley, which is about 1,000 kilometres away. And we service and patients that come in from their East Kimberley, which is about 250,000 square kilometre area. So the old building is quite small. So we had four rooms, um, a treatment room and a nurse room, if you like, and a small office space. Here we have seven doctor consult rooms. We've got three nurse areas that we can do certain procedures and tests in. And then we've got two purpose-built procedure rooms. The plan is also to have pharmacy within the building and the plan would be to have pathology services in the building and we didn't have any of that in the old building, there just wasn't enough space. We've also built it so that we could look at potentially dental services and things like that for the future. So Barry, we need to get your hearing checked. And there's plenty of space to do clinical work also, patient education um, with one-on-one -on -one with patients, as well as run groups and things like that. None of that we could do in the old building because it was just far too small. Uh, we will go from three to four doctors to seven doctors, um, so double our capacity in terms of doctors doctor numbers and what we found is just with our general population we probably need at least four full-time doctors and then that absolutely grows during our tourist season. Because our doctor numbers will increase is that we then bring down the waiting times for patients. You know most people know lots of our patients and clients have to travel um, from Kananara or the East Kimberley to either the Northern Territory or down to Perth to get treatment and services. So what we're hoping to do and already planning to do is to improve access to specialist services up here as well as some procedures and testing and things like that. So we see a lot of skin cancers here, we need skin procedure clinics and things like that. So to be able to offer that to the town is going to be something that we haven't been able to do before. Uh, 140, that's good. The other thing we've done is tried to have training that's integrated into the practice and have whether it's medical student training or allied health training or nursing training so any type of clinical training
be integrated into the practice. That's all fine. The plan in the new building is to have allied health services, so that includes you know, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, speech pathologists, dietitians, uh, diabetes educators, especially social, emotional and mental health services. We're able to then support um, our patients by being able to refer on in a timely manner. At the moment we've got great services through the hospital but unfortunately they spread very thinly and so it can be um, wait times of up to six weeks to get to see um, some of the allied health services. So if we can do that better, um, that will be our plan going into the future. It's good that we can see you today. So in the new building we've wired um, essentially every room to be able to do telehealth so that it's very much um, something that's part of everyday clinical work because as we know we get cut off from lots of places so people actually can't get in. So still to be able to provide a service to, to our patients and community members that are outside of Kununurra is extremely important as well. We'll definitely have the space to do um, preventative health better, so by that I mean be able to support people to come in for health checks early and so not just seeing the doctor when they're unwell but be able to see the doctor when they're actually feeling well so we can prevent things from happening um, down the track. We've updated our equipment so we are able to then provide services but in a more efficient way um, and with cutting edge technology and using the best that we have out there at the moment because even though we live in the bush and we live remote, we should still be able to access the best services that are available just as you can in the cities. And so there's a real excitement in the air. Um, we have lots of young families in Kananara, so that, that excitement um, in terms of being able to provide better services for young families is really, really important. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a fantastic new way forward that's um, a service for the whole community. The building was designed around uh, what the client's requests were and that was an, an easy flowing building. It's a thermally efficient building made out of a, uh, a panel system which is uh, the external walls and the ceiling so effectively we, we build a large cool room if you like, want of a better word, and, um, and we build around that. It just achieves very high thermal efficiency. It's taken us 10 months to build. We started uh, back in early November which, um, which was challenging. It was difficult because it was the wet season we had very high temperatures to deal with, um, problematic for getting the concrete down, so there was some challenge around that. And just, just generally very hot and, and hard, especially for guys coming out of Perth to work in these conditions. COVID did throw us a, another um, unusual challenge to deal with. We, we had some, uh, some of our men sent back to Perth um, because they couldn't get through because of the Kimberley border closure. But we couldn't get anybody through from the Northern Territory nor could we fly our workforce up from, from Perth at that time. So we, we got around that by engaging some local carpenters and, and other trades, um, and that got us through. So most of our trades were engaged locally. They were very uh, easy to work with, wonderful guys. So this was a very rewarding uh, experience for me. It was probably the most rewarding project I've, I've worked on. It's been amazing that we've been able to build a quality building within 11 months in the middle of a pandemic, but also um, with the you know, Kimberley wet season that happened in the middle of it as well. So I think it's a real testament to the, all the teams of people that have been working on this. So what you will notice when you come into our new building is that we're definitely acknowledging that we're on Mirong Gajarong land and that we've built the new clinic on Mirong Gajarong land. And when you walk into our reception area you'll see Bariangu which is Mirong for welcome or all please come here or all come here. 
So that notion of everyone is welcome into our clinic and that we want to provide good service and care to anyone that walks through our door. So the design of the building really is about trying to capture the East Kimberley and especially Kununurra. So we've incorporated the Ord River into the design that's in our floor um, and you'll be able to see the river flow through which is just showing about that importance of the river that that's very much a part of our community life, very important for Aboriginal people and it's an important part of the community. People fish and boat and ski on the river. And we've got beautiful artwork in our waiting room that just reflects um, and shows the beautiful country that we live in and the connection to country that we have here. I think it's a really important building for Kununurra, um, but also very important for people that we see outside of Kununurra. And I'm hoping it's one of those buildings that people um, take inspiration from and be able to look at what's possible even when you work and live rural remote. I think for the rest of the team it's going to be absolutely huge because we can then work to our full potential.